Hello, welcome to Puffs and Poetry. I'm your host, Jessica, a writer, cannabis aficionado, and poetry lover. Today, I am reading to you some of the poems from the works of American poet, William Carlos Williams. William Carlos Williams, aside from having the same name twice, is often considered a classic American poet because of his style and his language. He was born in the 1880s and spent almost his entire life in New Jersey, where he was a doctor of obstetrics and gynecology. Unlike many of the other poets of his day, he did not fancy the flower, flowery, descriptive language of prose. He much preferred straightforward language, describing what he saw as the quintessential American experience. Before we dive into his poems today, let me tell you what I'm smoking. I have a lovely custom type 2 blend in my grinder, and it is some CBD that I got at a farm in Vermont, and some THC that I bought in Vermont as well that was a type 2 in and of itself. It had about 15% CBD and about 6% THC, so this is a pretty heavy CBD blend. I'm not rolling up a huge one today because it's pretty windy and I have a feeling that the wind is going to smoke most of my joint for me. While William Carlos Williams does not rank up there for me in my favorite poets, he has some poems that tickle my funny bone, let's put it that way and I will be sharing those with you. One of the things that that's William Carlos Williams, I'm losing the role here. One of the things that Williams Carlos Williams is best known for is the brevity in his poems. As I mentioned, he was a doctor of obstetrics and gynecology. He delivered babies, so he was a very busy man. And many of his poems were written on prescription pads, those tiny little notepads that doctors carry around. If you've seen them before, you know that they are quite small, probably not much bigger than this rolling tray, and they cannot fit long poems on them. So many of William Carlos Williams' poems are prescription pad-like, just a few lines. There we go. I have fallen out of the practice of rolling joints. And it shows when I roll. <laughs> it is quite windy here today. So getting this lift will be a challenge. One of those days where you want to smoke outside because it's beautiful. The birds are chirping, the wind is blowing, but once you get outside, it's a little bit too windy to smoke. Let's see. If any stoner who smoked outside knows, half the battle is just figuring out which way to turn so that you're not lighting it into the wind. Our first poem today is called Pastoral. When I was younger, it was plain to me I must make something of myself. Older now, I walk back streets, admiring the houses of the very poor, roofs out of line with the signs, the yards cluttered with old chicken wire, ashes, furniture gone wrong. Fences and outhouses built of barrel staves and parts of boxes, all, if I am fortunate, smeared a bluish green 
that properly weathered pleases me best of all colors. No one will believe this of vast importance to the future. Isn't it lovely to be proven right? Our second poem today is also called Pastoral. The little sparrows hop ingeniously about the pavement, quarreling with sharp voices over those things that interest them. But we who are wiser shut ourselves in on either hand, and no one knows whether we think good or evil. Meanwhile, the old man who goes about gathering dog lime walks in the gutter without looking up, and his tread is more majestic than that of the Episcopal minister approaching the pulpit of a Sunday. These things astonish me beyond words. I wonder if the mic is picking up all of the frogs that are behind me. They are such funny little things. Our next poem today is called Mujer. Oh, black Persian cat, was your life not already cursed with offspring? We took you for rest to that old Yankee farm, so lonely, and with so many field mites in the long grass, and you return to us in this condition. Oh, black Persian cats. Our next poem is one of those William is my funny bone. It is called Dance Bruce. If I, when my wife is sleeping, and the baby and Kathleen are sleeping, and the sun is a flame white disc in silken mists above shining trees, if I, in my north room, dance naked, grotesquely before my mirror, waving my shirt round my head and singing softly to myself, I am lonely, lonely. I was born to be lonely, I am best so. If I admire my arms, my face, my shoulders, flanks, buttocks, against the yellow drawn shades, who shall say I am not the happy genius of my household? Who indeed? Our next poem is called Complete Destruction. Lost it. That's all right, we'll come back to it. Let's try that again. Our next poem is called Complete Destruction. It was an icy day. We buried the cat, then took her box and set match to it in the bathroom. Those fleas that escaped earth and fire died. Feels like a good way to lose an eyebrow.
Our next poem is called Wait. When I am alone, I am happy. The air is cool. The sky is flecked and splashed and wound with color. The crimson phalloi of the sassafras leaves hang crowded around me in shoals on the heavy branches. When I reach my doorstep, I am greeted by the happy shrieks of my children and my heart sinks. I am crushed. Are not my children as dear to me as fallen leaves? Or must one become stupid to grow older? It seems much as if sorrow had tripped up my heels. Let us see, let us see, what did I plan to say to her when it should happen to me as it has happened now? I don't need an ashtray, I told myself. Lay outside, the ash will blow away. Onto my legs, apparently. William Carlos Williams is best known for one poem in particular that actually has no title. It is simply from the book, Spring and All. You might recognize this one from a high school English class. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow, glazed with rainwater beside the white chicken. Now that is a prescription pad length like poem. Four short lines, four words in each line. Our last poem today is also titleless from the book Spring and All. And I hope you find this poem as amusing as I do. This is the time of year when boys 15 and 17 wear two horned lilac blossoms in their caps or over one ear. What is it? It is a certain sort, drivers for grocers or taxi drivers, white and colored, fellows that let their hair grow long and curve over one eye, horned purple, dirty satyrs. It is a vulgarity raised to the last power. They have stolen them, broken the bushes apart with a curse for the owner. Lila. They stand in the doorways on the business streets with a sneer on their faces adorned with blossoms. Out of their sweet heads, dark kisses, rough faces. Sometimes when we read old poetry, it can feel very out of reach. It can feel like it requires spark notes to interpret. And sometimes you read a poem like that one that is clearly old, clearly written long ago. And I wouldn't say that the meaning is the same today, but you can still easily understand it. It gives me a chuckle, dirty satyrs. <laughs> Not really an expression anybody uses these days. My joint is out. And those are all the poems that I have for you today. Thank you for spending some time with me and with William Carlos Williams. Until I see you next week, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have a wonderful day.